Okay, hey guys. Sorry it's been a long time that I haven't posted a video. Mm, it's just that um, I was kind of busy and now I'm back. Uh, there's been a lot of new things to this tank, as you can see, new fish. Um, I've added a black background and um, as of now, it makes, I mean, it makes my fish uh, turn a little bit darker. Um, I kind of like it that way. I wish I had a lighter substrate though, but you know, that's all good. Um, I had the black background and then you can see like there's a white like lining of like the receipt code or something. I'm still working on it. I'm thinking about, you know, getting more gravel or something. Um, the new fish I got, I got two new frontosas. Uh, if you can, oh, he's not coming out. I'll show him later. Um, I got this huge dolphin. He's huge, man. He's like seven to eight inches. And I'm like, whoa, it's a big dolphin. This is the second frontosa. Nice fish. This fish is a little beaten up. As you can see here, I, uh, you know, that's just what happens, but hopefully he'll get better. I got this really nice living stone eye. He's a beast. And yeah, I know he's a predator. And I have all these tiny fish, but he doesn't try to eat anything. And so, you know, I'll leave him in here. And these guys are growing faster than he he is so that's why I choose to leave, chose to leave him and I took out all the smaller fish so I wouldn't get eaten um, also frontosas are actually ambush predators same as the living stone eye I never knew that but they are well they'll eat really small fish but they're not they're not aggressive at all though um, Let's see, I also bought a UV sterilizer. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's this really, it's big. And, because I got a big tank and you know, you can't even, you barely can see it here. But there is that light right there. Um, I pretty much just installed it like today. So hopefully they'll be fine. Mm. I just did this because, you know, I don't want to fight infection again or, like, go through, like, putting a bunch of medications. Not saying that it's going to completely eradicate it, but it's going to reduce the risk of it. And, you know, that's always good. Hmm. So, I got the fish, the background. Oh, also, I am thinking about... Um, taking out these two filters because they make too much sound and especially this penguin filter it's a good filter but it's just too loud and you know I want it to be quiet and stuff so yeah that's coming on the way Sorrentosa doesn't seem to be doing very well I just added them today the dolphin these guys stayed for two weeks in this tank and they're doing all fine Mm. So, it's pretty much good. You can see there's a little bit of algae on this glass, but honestly, after the UV sterilizer, it should kill all the algae too, pretty much. And I'm right next to the sun, so. Also, the reason why I get this glass is because of this thing. I put my, um, I put my, current USA light to the front because see if I put it in the back like so then you know you can't see the fish because they always hang out in the front so I'm like you know what? I'll just put it in the front so I just never really cleaned the glass because it wasn't really too big of a problem until like I added the black background where you can see it now so but I can do it it shouldn't be too hard. Mm. Also, um, 
I have gotten new fish from Tampa Bay Safe with Zern my grill at Tank. I'll show I'll show you them. Uh, but after I make after I show all these guys and what's happening. Um oh yeah, here's my catfish. You know, he's hiding out now because I just did a water change on him, but on the tank, so he's a little scared. But he used to hide all the time when I first got him, and now, oh, look at this guy. He's grazing on the rocks, that's so cool. I think that's like a marmalade, uh, labiotrophius. That's sweet, i actually never seen him do that before. It's nice. So, um, this guy used to hide for pretty much the first year since I've had him. And now in the second year, he's gotten used to the tank and me. So now he's coming, he comes out so much more often and I can see him more. Check out this guy. Love this Luanda. Ooh, this nice. I like to call this fish like a tiger OB because like he has that orange back with the, and it's like pure black it's not like mixed in with the orange or anything it's just right on top of it mm, let's see this guy has also grown he's grown quite a bit this guy is showing so much more color right now and what else um this guy i'm still waiting for him to get some color not terrible though not terrible it take a while. This guy has definitely colored up. I'll put a picture of him, um, like, in the next second or so, show you how much he wasn't, like, how gray he was. Now he's so much more colored up, which is a great thing. Mm. This guy is my star sapphire. I think I paid 20 bucks for him. So, because I wanted a guaranteed male, because what's the point of having a female, right? For these guys. Um, yeah, there's the tanks going pretty well. Um, hopefully, um, these fish will grow big and nice. Um, but, you know, I added that UV sterilizer just in case, uh, if I get a disease or something, it'll greatly help. I'll put a link for that in the description if you want that. We got it for really cheap for what it was. It was made by Sun Sun. Um, VC10, and I have all these predators, so, you know. I might go predator tank, like take out all of these Mbuna, sell them or put them in my 75 and make it a 75, I mean like just an Mbuna tank, um, but I don't know, or I might keep them, I love this guy, look at him, but, you know, who knows, oh, this Viejo, oh man, he thinks that he can breed with any of these other fish. And this fish looks like he's holding, but you can see he's a male. That's an exasperatus right there. Looks like he's holding, but I'm pretty sure he's not because I know he's a male. I mean, I think you can see the next spots, but this Vieja is being really rude. I mean, like mean to the other fish. Like, he's, she's been digging it up. I, I know it's a female, but she's been digging it up and digging up gravel and stuff. And yeah, she's literally been pushing the fish away. I would, I honestly, if she wasn't so like nice or something, or like, I think she's, I mean, she's a Briordi, Vieja Briordi, see that? And I think those are like breeding coloration, at least, yeah, for me, cause she was just like gray, but now she's this white and, uh, white and black color so she definitely changed color but like if this wasn't like so rare then I'd probably take him away I'd probably sell him but you know 
This convict. I had this convict for a while. He hasn't grown a bit. I mean, he's always been small to me, actually. So, I can't really do anything about him. This guy turned out really tiny. I mean, not tiny. Really gray and stuff. He was the runt of my tank, believe it or not. And on my 75. And then... Once I put him by himself, like, I added a few fish when I first set up this 125, and the, he was one of the fish since he was a runt, because I wanted him to have more, you know, I wanted him to get more dominance since he's one of the first fish. So, you know, it kind of worked. He's like, he literally colored up in a day. So look at that, he's getting some color too. Hopefully he gets some more color. I know he's a male. He's definitely a male. Um, he's getting more color. Can't wait for this guy to get color too. This guy, I think I'm gonna have to sell this guy once he gets bigger, cause he looks really nice and that's kind of a bad thing, I guess, in a way, cause he might be super aggressive. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Or I might keep him if he's pretty chill, that's fine. So yeah, this tank is going nice for now. Um, there's always room for improvement, as you can see. It's not great. I mean, it's not perfect or anything. And it's not. I mean, I just. I guess I just had to wait for the fish to grow in order for this tank to start looking more of a show tank, I guess. And I'm also thinking about getting a light on top of. The Another Current USA, because dude, Current USA is an amazing light brand, so I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm putting these sponges because, you know, they make too much sound, so I just improvise and then I just put some sponges. It doesn't look good, but, you know, most people, since this is a pretty high tank, most people just look here and sit in and just ignore the sponges, so yeah. Thanks going well.